like again, when people think of slavery, they're waiting for the scene where someone's like chained to a post and they're whipped, right? But I think what she was doing is that that happens in this book, you know, it happens yeah. a lot in this book, yeah. you know. But she's also asking us to consider the ways in which the other forms of violence that are happening. All right, it isn't just that the the crime, the horror of this institution is not just simply that people were chained to post and beat, but like you know, sex. It was it operated on the bed of sexual violence. Yeah. You know, that's kind of one of her broad, and, it, and it's normalized. You know, that's what sort of, that's what she's sort of pointing at in some ways, but also the ways in which that violence is actually used to, as an, to enforce another kind of more psychological cruelty. You know, that it, it ultimately is about like, how do you, it's, it's not, you know, as you say, I don't want to make sure that it's like a beating of the week, right? But I'm curious about really creating a conversation around the ways that violence manifests in multiple ways you know, against the body, most certainly, but also against the body and the mind, which is a part of the body, right? right. <laughs> and it's, and that's the, and that's kind of the interesting invitation of, of, of TV versus film, because in film, it's two and a half hours, you get what you can get out of it. But I think with TV, because it's really about characters and the time you spend with them, you can see people transform under the yoke of these things. You can see the kind of ways people compromise with themselves or, or are broken or not broken by by the the culture of violence that they're that they're immersed in you know and that's sort of like how i step into that that conversation